Butt kick, that's it. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's it. Okay, now knees up to the chest, please. Yep, knees up. That'll do. Why is it on you, Deb? Okay, let's go to high skips, please. High skips. Opposite arm and knee. Squeeze it up. Now I can see three people. <laughs> That's it. Keep that going. Technical fun with Zoom, eh? Four more. Three, two, and one. And let's tip and scoop. Sorry about this stupid internet. I've been on the phone for them all week and I reckon there's nothing wrong with it. That's it. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Okay, toy soldier. Opposite hand to foot. Where are you, Ben? I can't see ya. Opposite hand to foot, that's it. Three, two, and one. Let's bend and reach down towards the ground. Reach it down. Good. Keep going. Three more. Three. Two, one, up on the toes, roll out the wrists for seven lift. Two, one, let's swing the legs. Keep going, leg swings. You right there, Ben? Hey, CJ. You just, uh, you can uh, mute you, yourself there, can't you? Good work. Other side now with the leg swings, please. Two. So I've just explained that I've been on the phone about my internet. They try to say there's nothing wrong, but it's just lagging a bit. So hopefully it'll be okay. Let's go to ankle rotation. Change feet. And change direction. Two. One might just be a little bit of a delay there. Let's go to side bend, side to side. Two and one, opposite hand comes across. Three, two, one, arms up, pull it down. Big reach, sit back on that chair, keep going. Gotta get this right. If you're having trouble there, it's just um, go out and come back in maybe. Two and one. Let's go to wood chop. Or if you can see me, all right, that's fine. Don't worry about it. But you're frozen on the screen. Two more. And other side. Pull it down. Three. Two, one, okay, straight legs, hinge it over. Don't tip too low if you're a little bit tight in the hammies. That's it. Two more. Two and one. Let's go to our hip rotation. Nice big circles. Other way. Yep, we're doing knees now, dead hip rotations. Yep, and now we reach, big stretch. That's it. Keep that going, guys. We're just checking, making sure everything's all right. Yeah, that's all good. Two more. Two and one. Let's open the 
chest. Two. And one little circles forwards. Gradually getting bigger and bigger. Two. One. Oh, backwards now. Just about forgot the backwards one. So smaller, gradually getting bigger and bigger. Two. And one. Crisscross the hands. Two. One. And then a big reach. Two. One. Last one. We're going to roll out the wrist. Sit back. That's it. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Have your water bottle close by because we've got reverse accumulation today. Um, so we're going to start, we're going to do eight exercises and instead of accumulating them, we're going to drop them off as we go. Okay. So I just find my timer. Every exercise is 30 seconds. We're going to start with four corner squat jumps. Are we ready? Two, one, let's go. So 30 seconds, guys. That's it. When, when you get to, uh, when you've gone round once, you can go the other way. Save you from getting dizzy. Remember, you don't have to jump as well. You can step it. That's it. Four corners. We've got a 10 second rest in between each exercise. Okay, now we have a walkout plank rotation. If you can't do this, you can do a normal plank. So we do a rotation, walk in, up to standing, come out and go again. That's it. Come up to standing, walk in, Turn that whole body to the center, coming back. Good work, you got eight seconds left. Turning, so everything's turned to the center. Bring it up. We've got a sumo pulse. Two pulses, two pulses in the lunge. So two pulses and two pulses. it. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Good work. Nice and low. Good, good. We're going to renegade press up next. So I'm going to use the dumbbells. If you can't do it on the dumbbells, feel free just to do a row or a press up. Coming down guys. Over here, we do one push up, two rows. If you find the push up too hard, you can just do the row. Okay? Squeeze up. Elbows brush past the ribs. So we've got eight exercises to get through, and then we drop the last one off each round. Good work. Three, two, one. Okay, dumbbells just to the side. So we've got hot knees next. Kind of a, a tough exercise. We want to bring the opposite knee to elbow. Uh, sorry, opposite hand to knee. If you can't do this, just hold a plank. So we want we don't want those hips to come in when we bring the knee in. We want to keep the hips as square as we can. That's it. Just hold a plank. You can go and plank on knees or feet if you need to. That's it. Hold, keep working, nearly there. Three, two, one, up to our feet. So we have explosive jacks next. Option, of course, you don't have to do the jump. You can do a power squat or a power jack. Let's go. So out here, arms and legs wide, or step into it. That's it. Good work. Go for the explosive jack if you can. Oh, the silly watch. I'm going to be watching this, and it's um, the Bluetooth coming through. 
So every time the buzzes, my watch is buzzing. Two, one, bring it down. Our last one, we're gonna bring it up and hold the static position for 30 seconds. So at the top of the crunch, we're just gonna hold. So you're lifting from your ribs. That's it. Hold. That's it, keep breathing, elbows back. Come on, so we just lift a little bit higher from that tummy. So we only do this one once because it gets knocked off next round. Two, one, coming up. So at the end of each round, grab a dumbbell, hands behind our hips, and we're tapping. Opposite toe, so each toe taps alternating with the dumbbell. If you can't do that, you can just do sprints on the spot. So it's hands here, tap and tap. So it's just a little tap with the toe, tapping each side of the dumbbell. So this is our finisher at the end of each round. Five seconds, two, one. So that's one round done. I'll pause it for a second. Grab a quick drink if you like. So we're starting with our four corner squat jumps. Do, do, do. Okay, we're not stopping long guys. Let's get ready to go. Let's do it. So a squat jump, you can do a forward lat and then you can turn around and go the other way if you like. I'm going to try and stop this stupid watch. That's it. Keep going. 10 seconds left, so change direction. That's it. Come on, doing well. Three, two, one. Back to our walkout plank rotation. So we walk it out, and then we turn that whole body to the center. Actually, Let's do two sides, guys, and then walk it back in. Let's do two rotations, and then walk it in. If you can't do this, you can just walk it out and walk it in. Another option. That's it. Turning that whole body together. Let's work. Okay, oh see I forgot, I missed out one last round. Grab one dumbbell, holding at the neck. So we're gonna drop back and we're gonna turn towards the knee that's in front. So drop back and turn. Okay, sorry guys, I left this one out last round. So holding the neck of the dumbbell, drop back, turn to that knee that's in front. So we need to do this one twice, sorry, because I left it out last round. That's it. Changing legs each time. So you've got 10 seconds if you don't need a rest, keep working. Okay, you can take a break if you need to. Two, one, let's go. Alternating backward stepping lunge. Turn to that knee that's in front. That's it. Good job. So twisting at the waist. That whole head moves with the torso. Just, as, just come around as much far as you can. Ooh, lost my balance there. Three, two, one. You could have weight for this one if you wanted to. So sumo pulse to a lunge pulse. One, two. One, two. So it's two pulses. Turn, two pulses. That's it. Coming down as low as you can for that pulse. Woo. Great job. Nice and wide in that sumo squat. Eight seconds left. Come on, you can do it. Two. One, awesome. 
coming down for our renegade press up. So maybe you can do a row if you need to. Or you can just try and bend a little way and then squeeze up for the row. So drop down and then squeeze elbows past the wrists. That's it. Great work. Keep that core switched on the whole time. That's it. Keep it up. We've got 10 seconds. Then we're finishing. Oh, we've got two left after that. Keep working, guys. Okay. Coming up. Oh, no. Sorry. Stay down. We've got hot knees next. So remember, you can do a plank if you need to for this one. We want to keep our hips square when we pull the hand and knee together. Okay, so we don't want those hips coming in with the knee. That's it. You can do a plank if you need to. 10 seconds. And then we've got our last exercise for the round. Bring it up. Finishing with explosive jacks or a power jack or a power squat. Okay, out wide, let's go. So if you can't do that one, you can sit into it. So when you sit back or you can step, make sure that you're sitting into that squat position. That's it. Come on guys, doing my last one of the round. Then we've got our little finisher. That's it. What did I call them? Can't remember. Toes, toe tap dumbbells, dumbbell toe tap. Okay, so just putting your dumbbell in front. Remember, you can just do sprints if you can't do this one. So hands behind the head, and we're alternating little taps with the toes. If you can't, you could just step it, or you could just do a sprint if you want to get that heart rate right up and you can't get the exercise. That's it. Little taps. Elbows back, core tight, 10 seconds, come on, almost there, good, three, two, one, take a quick break, I'll pause it, give you a little bit of extra rest, so we only have six exercises left in our set, so we're starting with our four corner squat jumps, Okay, seven seconds, guys. Remember, you don't have to jump. You can just step into that squat. Let's go. Cross and dip. So try and sit back when you land. You want to sit into that squat. Then change direction once you've been one way. That's it. So you don't get dizzy. And we work all our muscles evenly. Come on, 10 seconds. Can you sit a little bit lower? That's it. Three, two, one. Back to our walkout plank rotation. So remember, we're going to do two rotations in walking. Three, two, one. Let's go. So turn. This can be done on the knees as well. If you're not used to this movement, up to standing. And go again. So the arm needs to turn with the body a little bit as well. That's it. Eight seconds left. Keep working. Can we squeeze out one more? One more in that, that eight seconds. Good job. Grabbing one dumbbell. So we've got our reverse lunge with a rotation. So we drop back. Turn to the knee that's in front. Drop back. Make sure that whole body's moving together. Brace the tummy. Don't go further than you need to. Everyone will have a different range of motion. That's it. Drop down nice and low into that lunge first. Shoulders back. Whew. Core tight. That's it. Two, one, option to have weight for the next one. Or you can just go body weight, it's fine as well. 
So two pulses, turn, two pulses. There's a sumo squat in between each lunge. Sumo pulse, I should say. One, two. So two little pulses. Nice controlled movement. That's it. One, two. One, two. That's it. Five seconds. Woo. Bring it down for our renegade press up. So sorry about this engineer, I have to bring them back. Okay, bring it down, two rows. You could even just practice just bending at the elbows and coming this far. It's not about depth, it's about that whole body moving together. Elbows go back towards the hips. Try to exhale as you lift. Come on, guys, nearly there, nearly there. Breathe as you pull that weight up. Great job. Okay, stay down, last round, apart from the finish, last exercise. We've got hot knees. So remember, go to a plank if you need to. So as you pull your knees to your hands, you don't want to bring the hips. You want to keep the hips square and strong in that plank position. Just hold a plank on the elbows or the knees if you need to. Good work. Come on, last lot of these. Keep going, you've got 10 seconds. Try to keep those hips as square as you can. That's it. Two, one. Bring it up for our little finisher. Okay, dumbbell in front. Or you can do sprints. Hands behind the back. Let's go. Little toe taps on the dumbbell. So you can have your hands here too if you need to. Makes it a little bit easier. Come on guys, little taps, 30 seconds. Finish off. Whew. Good work. Almost there. Can we speed it up? Come on, a little bit faster. little break. Okay, I'm not going to pause the timer because I want to get through this. You just join us when you need to, okay? So we're starting with our four corner squat jumps. Let's go. Take extra rest if you need it. We've got another little bit of the workout to get through as well. A different, different one. Just step if you need to. Try and do that squat every 90 degrees. Come on, you've got 10 seconds. Only five exercises left in the round. That's it. Let's get it back. Awesome. Back to our walkout. Press up with the rotat. No, no press up, sorry. Walkout rotation. Let's go. So I'll show you the knee one. So we're on the knees. The shoulders and hips are still lined up. Walk it back in, up to standing. Go again. Knees, turn that whole body just to here, not to here. Come on, nearly there, you've got 10 seconds. Up to standing, and go again. Almost done, last five. Good job, grab your one dumbbell if you're using it. It can be body weight as well. So we've got our reverse lunge with a rotation. Drop back, turn, push off that foot. Turn, Woo. a little bit tough for balance, isn't it? Drop it back and turn. Try to keep, don't let that dumbbell make you pull your shoulders forwards. Keep your shoulders back and down. Eight seconds to go. Come on, we can do it. Two, one. So two dumbbells or body weight. We've got sumo pulse to a lunge pulse. Okay, two pulses, turn that whole body. Two pulses. Sumo squat in between. Oh, I didn't do a pulse then. One, two. That's it. Yep, so you're pulsing at the bottom of the movement. One, 
two. Coming down, two little pulses. That's it. One, two. Come on, five seconds. And we've got our last exercise. Bring it down for Renegade Press Up. Whew. Okay. Even if you just go a little way. Or Deb, you can just do a row if you need to. Or you can practice this movement and just do little baby push-ups. Just bend the elbows a little bit. That's it. Good work, guys. Come on. Last one for the round, apart from the finisher. Nearly there. Five seconds. Well done. Bring it up. So dumbbells just out in front. 30 seconds, another round will be done. Two, one, hands behind the head, elbows back if you can. Little taps. How are we going with the taps? If you, if you like, you can just tap quickly if you can't jump, or you can do a sprint. So alternating, tapping those dumbbells. Core tight, shoulders back. And that's it. Come on, you got five seconds. A little bit faster. Two. Woo! Another round down. Grab a quick drink. I'll give you a little bit extra rest here. So no more renegade press up. We have four left in the round. Okay? So we're starting with our four corner squat jumps. Okie dokie. You got five seconds, guys. Take more rest if you need it. Let's go. Little jumps. Oh, it's quite warm this morning, isn't it? Whew. When you go one way, you can turn and go the other. That's it. Great job. Almost there. Come on, 10 seconds. Can we sit a little bit lower when we land? Push it to the end. That's it. Five seconds. Two, one, get ready for our walkout plank rotation. You can stay on the ground and do the plank rotation if you like as well, or you can hold a plank. Just do whatever you can. If there's ever an exercise that doesn't feel right, just mix it up. So bring that whole body to the center. Great job. Come on, you've got 10 seconds. Nearly there. Up to standing. Go again. Well done. Grab your dumbbells. Or well, one dumbbell, sorry. Or a kettlebell is probably ideal for this one. Okay. Sorry about this ridiculous internet. The kids aren't even on it either. Drop down and turn. That's it. Turn that whole body, or upper part of the body, the torso, not the legs. Drop back. Squeeze it round. Don't go too far. That's it. Two, one. Okay, grabbing one dumbbell, uh, two dumbbells, sorry, or body weight. Two sumo pulses, turn to a lunge. Let's go. Two sumo pulses, two lunge pulses. Make sure those knees and toes are lined up when you turn. That's it. 15 seconds, guys. Woo, this is our last one, apart from the finisher for the round. Getting there. We're unaccumulating these exercises. Two. Okay. Back to our little finisher. Dumbbell toe taps. Okay. Hands behind the head if you can. Let's go. Alternating. So it's just a little tap with the toes. You could do a sprint if you prefer. You could use your hands if you like. Just makes it a little bit tougher when you got your hands behind the head. Come on, 10 seconds, push. Let's 
Go. Push to the end of the round. Woo. Five left. Three, two, rest, guys. Woo -hoo. Another round done. I'll pause it for a second. I'll be kind and give you a little drink. Okay. So we've got three left in the round. And then we're just going to do something a little bit different to finish off. Okay, so we're starting with our four corner squat jumps. Two, one. Let's go. Take extra rest if you need it. That's it. So remember, it's a squat jump. We've got to sit back in that squat. We're not, not just jumping around. We're coming around and sitting into that squat. That's it. Keep working. Come on, we only have three left in the round. That's it. Two, one. Back to our walkout plank rotation. Three, two, one. Let's do it. So two rotations, just to the center, no further. Walk it back in. Up to standing. Go again. Great job. Come on, we've got 10 seconds. We'll do one more. That's it. Oh, I didn't count the standing at time. Oh, my bad. All the way around. Well done. Bring it up. Last one. That's the last time. Our lunge rotation. One dumbbell if we're using it. Drop back. Turn. So drop back nice and low into that lunge. That's it. Come on, we can do this. Finish off. Great work. Keep working, keep working. Less than 10 seconds. Drop back. Keep your shoulders back. Chest up. Come on, last three seconds. Good job. Got our finish up, so grab your dumbbell. Dumbbell toe tap. Let's do it. 30 seconds. Other option could, would be sprints or you could use your hands if you needed to. Okay. Come on, 20 seconds, guys. Little taps on that dumbbell. Woohoo. Great work. Come on, last 10. Speed it up. You can. Push. That's it. Five seconds. Well done, another round down. Okay, so we just have uh, two left. Starting with our four corner squat jumps. Let's go. Take extra rest if you need it. We're nearly there. Come on. So do a full rotation and then maybe go the other way. That's it. Nearly done. Come on, for how low can you sit when you land? Really work those legs. Eight seconds left. Two, one. Last time, walk out, plank rotation. Okay, option, you can stay on the ground and do the plank rotation. Or you can hold a normal plank as well. 20 seconds left. And we've got our little finisher at the end of the round. Squeeze it round. Come on, 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Can we do one more? Well done. Bring it up. Finishing with our taps. Our two taps or a sprint. Two. One, let's go. Little taps either side of the dumbbell. Woo. Great work, guys. We just have one left after this, one more round. Come on. Elbows back. Core squeeze, nice and tight. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Nearly there. 
two, and one. Okay, four corner squat jumps. Then our little finisher, and we are done. Come on, how low can we go when we land? Let's work it, guys. That's it. Go one direction, then change so that we don't get dizzy. That's it. Come on, almost there. 15 seconds. That's it. Sit it back. Nice and low. Eight seconds. Come on, push to the end. Keep working. Five. That's it. Two. And one. Finishing with our dumbbell toe taps. Then I'll give you some extra rest before we move on to a little bit of strength work. Okay, let's go. It's actually strength with a bit of cardio as well. Ooh. Come on, tap, tap. Good work. Come on, last 15 seconds. How fast can you go? Push. That's it. Speed it up. 10 seconds left. Ooh. Push, push, push. Right to the end. Come on, last five. How fast can you go? Two, one. Well done. Extra rest here, guys. Okay, so we're moving on to triple trouble strength. It might be simple, but these strength, strength sets are meant to go slow and controlled. We want to work on balance, core control, and single-sided strength. Each round has got three exercises. Um, and we're going to repeat each exercise. No, sorry, each round's got three exercises, but the exercises are differing time. So we've got 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and then 20 seconds. So the first exercise is 40. Uh, we've got two options for the first exercise. You could do a single leg deadlift, or you could do our aeroplane. So the deadlift would be with a bit of weight, or we could just do body weight and we work at tipping that whole body together. So we've got 30 seconds each side. Are we ready? Okay, it's going to ding in 10 seconds. So see with the aeroplane and the deadlift, when you lift up, you don't want those hips to open up. So one leg, please. Deadlift or aeroplane. It's tough. You'll probably find that one leg is better than the other. So we're going to go 30 seconds on this side and 30 seconds on the other side. You got 10 seconds and we're going to switch legs. Three, two, one, switching sides. So tip, 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 or use that dumbbell to make it a, a deadlift. Yeah, kettlebell is probably good, but dumbbell is okay too. So tip, that whole body moves as one. There's a slight bend in that supporting leg. That's it. Three, two, one. Okay, dumbbells away for a second. Round two, we've got a split squat with the leg lift. Stay on the one leg, so we drop down and then we lift up, squeeze that glute. So down, you could actually hold um, some weight in the front, but you really want to concentrate on um, good movement and that, just keep it body weight if you like. Okay, switching legs. So change sides, guys. You drop down and then you just squeeze up with the glute. Down and squeeze. 10 seconds. Five to go. Two, one. Okay, quick transition to the ground, guys. We've got 10 seconds of oblique plank. Bring it down. So we've got 10, and then we're going to switch sides. So dip and squeeze. That's it. Dip and squeeze, dip and squeeze. 10 seconds. Oh, switch sides. Whoops. My bad. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to pause it for a second, give you a bit more time. Let's go. Dip and squeeze. Five seconds left. 
four, three, two, and one. Okay, back to our deadlift. Actually, you can have a little bit of rest there if you like. I'm still doing my shoelace up. So we're going to do each round three times, okay? So back to our either aeroplane or deadlift. Radio, you've got eight seconds to get ready. Single leg, so we're going to switch sides at 30 seconds. Let's go. So it's about that whole body moving together. So see how hopefully my hips aren't opening up too much. That's it. You can go weight or you just have your arms out to the side. Come on, 10 seconds and we change sides. There's a little bit of bend in that knee that's supporting two, one, switch legs. Slight bend in that leg. So we tip that whole body moves as one. That's it. Yep, just go to, um, don't worry about weight if you find this one tough. Come on, 10 seconds. And then we're back to our split squat with a kickback. Four, three, two, dumbbells down, guys. So we'll start any leg, we're gonna do both. So drop down and then lift up. Squeeze that glute. Drop down, squeeze. Kick it back. So that leg stays straight when you kick it back. We're gonna switch sides in 10 seconds. Five now. Three, two, changing legs, drop down, squeeze up, bend that back leg, squeeze it up. Come on, 10 seconds and we'll finish with our plank, oblique plank. Remember, if you can't do that oblique plank, you can drop down and hold a normal plank on your elbows. Coming down, guys, left or right, doesn't matter. We want to do a quick transition at 10 seconds though. Okay, let's go. Dip and squeeze. So you're checking that your shoulders and hips are lined up and that bottom ankle. Three, two, one. Quick transition. Let's go. Dip and squeeze. Remember, you can hold a plank if you need to. Three, two, that's it. Back two. Our single arm, dead, single leg deadlift or aeroplane. So last round, guys. Actually, I'm going to cut some of that rest. It's a bit too much rest. So you got eight seconds. I'm going to try without weight this time. You can start now if you want to just do a little bit of a longer round. Let's go. So it's about that whole body tipping over as one. Keep going. You're doing really well. We're going to switch halfway. That's it. We've got about 10 seconds on this leg. Two, no, sorry, keep going, keep going, keep going, five now. Two, one, change legs. Please. A little hinge. Ooh, you'll find one side's a lot easier than the other. Try to keep those arms out the side. That's it. Whew. 15 seconds, guys. It's tough. It's a real balance challenge. Come on. Eight seconds to go. That is bad. I better put you off there. Five seconds. Awesome. Back to our uh, split squat with a lift. Last round, guys, and we're moving on to three new exercises. Let's go, drop down, squeeze that glute. But when we lift up, we don't wanna arch that lower back, we wanna keep it in the glute, so it's just squeezing the bum cheek. That's it, we're gonna switch in three, two, one, changing legs, drop down, squeeze it up. That's it, drop back, squeeze. Eight seconds, squeeze, two, one. Let's bring it down. We've got our oblique plank, bring 
remember, go to a normal plank if you need to. Let's go. Dip and squeeze. So we drop the hips, squeeze them up. Get a switch in five, three, two, one. Quick transition to the other side. <laughs> All part of the workout. <laughs> three, two, one. Okay. We're going to do a bit of kneeling next. But if you can't kneel, you can stay up and not worry about kneeling, okay? If your knees are bad or anything like that. So we're going to start with a single arm press. Actually, sorry, we're going to squat first. No, the kneeling's after this one. So we're going to do a single arm press in a squat. If you can't do a squat, just do a press without the squat, okay? So we're going to hold a squat. Hold the other dumbbell here and press. Two, one, let's go. Please, if you don't, if the squat doesn't feel right, just do a single arm press. You can put the, this dumbbell down if you needed to. So we're going to switch halfway. That's it, 15 seconds, nice and controlled. That's it. Three, two, one, changing sides. So it's all about control. When we press, we want to stay in that strong position. That's it. Come on, 20 seconds, less than 20 seconds. Try to keep your shoulders as square as you can. That's it. 10 seconds to go. Next one, we are coming down from kneeling. If you can't kneel, you'd be welcome just to do it on the ground. So you need one or two dumbbells. Coming down into a kneeling position. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna do one arm and then the other arm. Okay, so one and then the other. One, try and keep control of that weight. So we're just straightening out the arm and then straightening out the other arm. Try to keep your head up nice and tall. That's it. It's hard when you take the legs out of it. Come on. Oh, I can feel these threes. Don't lean into it, guys. Two, one. Finishing with plank ups. So we're coming down and up. Option, just hold a plank if you need to. So we're coming down and back up. Obviously this one can be done on the knees too. Just make sure when you come down, see how my shoulders and hips line up. Then I come back up under the shoulders. Down and up. So this will probably be our last round of the last three exercises, guys. Let's get ready. So the first one again, I didn't have three rounds to go, but that's all right. We won't get the third round done. Oopsie, too much rest. You can start now if you like. You've got eight seconds. So squat and a press. Let's go. Make sure when you come down, you're not coming all the way down to here because that takes the tension out of the shoulders. You want to keep the tension on the muscle. Hold that squat. Go sumo if you like. Sumo feels better for me. We're going to switch in 10 seconds. Come on. Breathe as you press. Two, one. Let's go. Other arm. 30 seconds. Great work. Stay low in that squat position, guys. Come on, last 15 seconds. That's it. 10 left. Whew. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to change this one. We're going to do 20 seconds on one arm and then 20 seconds on the other. 
Okay, let's go. So 20 seconds on one arm, just hold the other one just in that position, or you can hold here too. Okay, up to you. 10 seconds, and we're gonna switch sides. Just do it standing. So Deb, you wanna be bending your elbow back. Okay, change sides guys. So you start with the elbow up here, and you just drop it down and straighten the arm. You probably find one side is easier than the other. Come on, eight seconds. Woo. Try and control it. Don't let those elbows flare out. Okay, guys, let's finish off. We're going to go a bit longer since it's our last round. So I'm going to make this one 60 seconds instead of 20. So we're going to plank ups. Let's go. Let's finish off. Remember, you can hold a plank if you need to on the elbows or the hands. Anything that doesn't feel right, just alternate it with a different exercise. So try and keep those hands under the shoulders when you come up. Hands under shoulders, pull that tummy in. Go to the feet if, you're a, if you can. If you want to have a go on the feet, drop down. But those hips again need to be in line with the shoulders. Come on, 25 seconds, almost there. Push, just about done. 20 seconds left. Come on, last little bit of work. Then we're straight into a stretch. Come on, push, 10 seconds left. That's it, shoulders and hips lined up. Five, four, three, two, Done, awesome, let's have a stretch. Great work, so on our backs, start out long. I did have another round I wanted to get to, but that's okay. Stretch out, well, I'm just gonna do my shoelaces up, but both come undone. Okay, so we can bring, you can either bring your knees to your armpits, or you can try happy baby. We grab the outside of our foot, kind of similar, and then we just pull our knees again towards our armpits. And you can go side to side a little bit if you like in this one. Okay, so you've got two options there. Just do knees to armpits or happy baby. Feels quite nice on the lower back. Three, two, one. Let's go to a glute stretch now. So foot on top. Pull it back. Squeeze it back. Feel that stretch in that hip. Good work today. So we did two workouts in one. We had the yarn accumulator, switch legs, and triple trouble strength. Might do that one again one day just to get all the rounds in. Try to squeeze back for that stretch. Really feel it. Three. Two, one, awesome. Let's come up so you can do long groin, legs wide, or you can bring your legs together. Do the short groin, try and keep your shoulders back, chest up. You wanna feel a stretch in the inner thigh, hopefully. Try not to hunch though, keep your shoulders back. Three, two, one, let's come over for our child's pose. Okay, pull it back. Get our bum back towards the feet. You can stay here or you can come up and walk the hands around and this arm, pull that top down. Okay, options come around to the centre, switching sides, pull through this arm. You want to get a nice grip down the side of the back, the top of the shoulder. Okay, bring it up back to the centre, so we'll step back for a calf stretch. Up on that toe, heel back and down. Next one is 5.30 Wednesday. Best way to start your 
broad come down. Okay, let's switch sides up on that toe. Heel back and down. Squeeze it back. You want to feel a nice stretch in that calf. Okay, back step forwards now. Make sure you've got enough padding under your knee. Step forwards, squeeze that bum, push the hip forwards. To increase the stretch, you can bring your arm up and lean over. You want to feel a nice stretch in the front of the hip. Three, two, one, straightening up and switching legs. Squeeze that bum, just lean into it. You can bring the arm up and lean over if you like. Three, two, one, straightening up. Let's bring it up to standing. So we're going to hinge over, hip and hold for a hamstring stretch. Just come as low as you can, keeping your legs straight and your back straight as well. So try and inhale and breathe out and drop a little bit deeper if you can. Seconds, how deep can you go? Four, three, two, one. Bend your knees and then slowly roll up. And then we're going to open up the chest, stretching the chest and the shoulders. Hope you all have a lovely Easter weekend. Okay, let's reverse that one around the back. Chin, shoulder blades apart. And then straightening up, and then we'll roll our shoulders back. Two, one, and go the other way. Two, one. We need to stretch our quads before we finish. So heel, pull the heel back and push the hips forward. Grab something into the balance if you need to. Try and find a focal point in between uh, somewhere on the ground. Let's squeeze back as far as we can. Really feel it for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Other side. Heel to the bum. Push your head forward. Hey, Lara. You're walking. <laughs> you clever girl. <laughs> oh, I put her off. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Release that leg, guys. Let's just finish as we always do. Flushing out. Doing that hard work. Four, three, two. One, and you are done. Have a lovely Easter weekend. Great work. See you later. See you, Deb. Have a good weekend. See ya.